Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Home and Beyond. Today we are starting Unit 6 from Cambridge Primary Science Learner's Book 5. In this unit we will explore how the Earth moves around the Sun, what an orbit is, and how this movement creates different seasons across the world. Have you ever wondered why we have summer in one part of the world while another place is covered in snow? Well, today we will dive deep into the fascinating world of seasons and how plants and animals adapt to these changes. So let's get started. Seasons and Adaptations of Plant and Animals 6.1 The Earth Moves Around the Sun Getting started What is this model of the Earth called? It's globe. What does the stick through the earth represent? Axis. What causes day and night? Earth's rotation. Earth's orbit. As well as turning on its axis, the earth revolves or moves around the sun. The path the earth travels in around the sun is called an orbit. The orbit is shaped a bit like an egg. This shape is called an ellipse. The orbit is not a perfect ellipse, so scientists call it a slight ellipse. Because of the shape of the orbit, the Earth is sometimes closer to the Sun and sometimes further away from the Sun. The average distance between the Earth and the Sun is 150 million kilometer. The Earth moves around the Sun in an anti-clock direction. It takes 365 and a quarter days or one year for the Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. In that time, the Earth has traveled 940 million kilometer. The Sun is bigger than the Earth. So the Sun exerts a bigger gravitational force on the Earth than the Earth does on the Sun. Think like a scientist. A model of Earth's orbit. Why is the diagram a good model of the Earth orbiting the Sun? It shows the Earth moving around the Sun in an orbit. It includes the Earth's axis, which is important for seasons. It uses arrows to indicate the direction of movement. Why is the diagram not a good model? Sizes and distances are not to be scaled. Orbit appears too stretched. Why is the orbit a slight ellipse? It is not a perfect circle. The sun is slightly off-center. Which force keeps the earth in its orbit around the sun? Gravity. While the earth is orbiting the sun, what other movement is the earth making? It rotates on its axis. How do we manage the quarter day in a year? We add an extra day every four years, leap year. The seasons. The seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Seasons are caused by the Earth orbiting the sun once a year and the tilt of the Earth's axis. Each season occurs when the Earth is at a particular position in its orbit around the sun. The months that you experience each season depend on which hemisphere you live in. Countries between the equator and the North Pole are in the Northern Hemisphere. Countries between the equator and the South Pole are in the Southern Hemisphere. When the Northern Hemisphere has a summer, the Southern Hemisphere has winter. This is because the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. In summer, the days are long and the nights are short. At the equator, there are no distinct seasons. There is equal day and night on every day of the year. Look at the diagram of the positions of Earth each month in its orbit around the sun. Find Earth in the June position. Because of the tilted axis, notice that the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. 
This means the northern hemisphere is having more daylight than darkness. The northern hemisphere is having summer. The northern he southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun and is therefore having winter. Now find the earth in the March position. Notice that the whole earth is facing the sun. As the earth rotates on its axis, all the earth will be facing away from the sun. Both hemispheres are having an equal amount of day and night. March is autumn in the southern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere. Activity 1 Different seasons in different parts of the world. Look at the diagram below which shows the Earth in its December position in its orbit around the Sun. Notice that the side of Earth facing the Sun is having day. The side of Earth facing away from the Sun is having night. The tilted axis causes the southern hemisphere to be tilted towards the Sun. The region around the South Pole is having continuous daylight. Activity 2 Understanding seasons is important because it helps us prepare for changes in weather, agriculture, and even our daily lives. I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring and keep learning. Allah Hafiz.